Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a long, long while since I uploaded last and a very long time since I've had a Chanel unboxing. Um, I'm happy to show you um, probably my one and only purchase, handbag purchase of the year because this here, I, I went over what I was uh, supposed to spend, but I figured this is like my second chance on getting this bag um so this bag is wet right now because i just came back from outside it is raining um and once i unbox this i will give you guys a little um backstory about how i got this bag so um this bag uh, the essay didn't give me a flower which i'm kind of like bummed out about but whatever i don't do anything with the packaging so, just trying to undo this. Came in this gorgeous magnetic box. This is the tissue paper, so the lighting is kind of crap. There it is. Typical um, care care booklet. I think it comes with the little cloth. I'm not gonna open that, but here is the dust bag. Chanel changed their dust bags again. It used to be like a little literal string drawstring, but now it's like a ribbon drawstring. So that's really new. And here is my reveal to you guys. This is the. Um, so Chanel actually calls this size the medium, um, but I think it used to be called the small, but Chanel now calls this the medium. So this is the medium cocoa handle in black caviar with chevron quilting, aged brush gold hardware, and the uh, lizard handle here. Um, and. My Chanel essay said that the lizard handle is actually python, and it is dyed. Um, and there is some packaging kept, or the stickering kept on the hardware. I told my essay to just leave it as is. Um, and then also, she was able to give me the this little belt cloth here to keep this guy protected when not in use and the inside here is just gorgeous sorry you won't be able to see very clearly what it is uh what it is inside but it's an all leather bag and it does come with the strap it is a removable strap as you can see here Okay, so hopefully you guys can see um, this here has the, just like in the, the um, classic flap, so there's the two pockets with the center lipstick holder. Um, and this is all leather lined. This here is made in Italy. It says here, I'm sorry, you can't see, but it says it is made in Italy. Yeah, you can't see, I'm so sorry. The lighting and a black interior bag is really hard to capture but it does have a center zipper pocket there and another zipper pocket um, in the back here as you can see and there is a back pocket to this bag um, I noticed that there is additional like seams here um, I'm not sure if that's in the other like classic quilted bags, but I think this this here is fine because I do notice that on my jumbo and my square medium classic flaps that a lot of um, creasing happens here. So, and this is a better detailed shot of the 
lizard handle. Um, this lizard handle is very, very sturdy. Like, I don't feel that the scales will rip off, just like um, in the earlier versions. And here's the brush gold hardware. I'm kind of scared to take this off right now, so I mean, probably when I do wear it, I will take it off. I have to because it looks kind of weird with it stayed on. Um, and here are the little hooks um, for where the strap um, hooks onto. And then notice here that the grommet here says Chanel engraved. Very good detailing. Um, but on the back, it does say uh, 31 Rue de Cambon Paris on the back. So very good detailing on Chanel's part. And these grommets here do not move. They just, they stay as is. And this does come with four feet. No Chanel engraving on them, unfortunately, but um, I'm happy that this bag does have feet. This is the first Chanel bag that has feet um, in my collection. And the side here is like so. So it actually has a middle seam. I think this, like, they really took into consideration the wear and tear factor um, for this bag here. And I really do appreciate that because sometimes um, I've seen that on the um, other Coco handles that, especially here um, in the corners, it kind of slouches and um, I think they are trying to eliminate that with how they've sewn this part um, because I think on the other, edition, uh, other editions, it's just all one piece of leather, whereas this is two pieces of leather with, uh, with a seam in the center. Okay, so I forgot to show you the authenticity card. It did come with it. And I'm not going to show you the rest of the numbers, but this is the 26 series. So uh, this year's um, edition. So it's basically like last, apparently like last season's handbag, which like to me, that I means um, that doesn't matter. This bag is like in style forever in my eyes. Um, so basically how I came and got this bag, um, I honestly wasn't looking for this combination. I was definitely looking for the cocoa handle and this size, but not with the chevron um, and the lizard handle. Reason is because I, um, well, obviously this here costs a little bit more than the classic, um, you know, calf handle and quilted leather cocoa handle um but i figured like i don't want to wait anymore because chanel did not know or the essays did not know when those um the calf skin handles would be coming in um because apparently they get a lot of lizard handle cocoa handles um which is like kind of like okay like this i guess not a lot of people like the lizard um but i'm actually happy that i did get the lizard because this like it feels super super sturdy obviously i wouldn't wear this in the rain but like i don't see that the scaling would come off like it feels just embossed leather like they really um they really processed this lizard handle really really well um, and I also like wasn't looking for another chevron bag because I already have a chevron mini, square mini, that I got uh, in Hong Kong a couple years ago. But um, this, this bag, it just looks so gorgeous, especially in this combination with the, with the um, larger um, uh, quilts and or the larger chevron quilting and the really beautiful like shiny grained calf skin or caviar skin um, and the gold hardware just really really makes this bag look super super fancy even though it's a matte finish the 
this this finish this aged finish is really something that helps make the bag look super super classy and just an all-around beautiful feminine type bag um and yeah so i was searching for like two weeks straight for this bag um because for, for the original coco handle because um like again i didn't want to pay the price i paid for this bag but chanel wasn't getting it in so i i figured i would get it but i went to, i didn't go to my usual chanel essay reason is because um well she it, it didn't sound like she wanted to serve me anymore so i was like okay well i'll go to another one and um the sale experience was kind of meh but i still enjoyed uh being in the store so like i was standing in the store wanting help for like a good like 10 minutes no one came in and helped me until i saw a sales associate um was like taking pictures in uh, in front of a mirror, so I just went up and asked her if I could, if, if you know, if she could help me, and she did, and she was really, really great. She was nice, um, and yeah, I, but she didn't give me, like, the flowers, and, um, like, the experience was just kind of, like, I don't know. It wasn't, like, how I've had Chanel, um, purchasing in the past, but, I mean, I don't go to Chanel very often, so that's probably why I don't get the service that like everyone else gets. But anyways, um, yeah, so I just love this bag so much to death. I really, really recommend anyone checking this bag out. The cost for this is, before tax, $6,100. Um, and I was really humming and hawing about it because the price is really really steep and also it is like the same price as my jumbo and i told myself i would never buy a handbag for that price again however i had to make an exception for this one because i just kept thinking about this bag um two weeks ago my sales associate showed me this bag um and ever since then i couldn't get it out of my my head um and funny enough the large version so the one size up from this from this is um actually 25 dollars more than this bag so i was like you know what mine as well um you get more from this bag i get a full leather interior and a lizard handle and usually both of those features always make the cost of any handbag skyrocket really really high but the large one one size up from this only had textile interior and only calfskin handle and it just looked too big and briefcasey whereas this is like the perfect size um for a lot of people um because it's it's like in the range of a small and medium or large size um so yeah i figured this would be the greatest um one thing i do notice though is that and um sam snape hpp did point this out in her video is that when you open this bag um on uh, when you when you open this bag on your body the handle will have to like bend for it or bend back depending how you're wearing it so it would have to bend for it to fully open so what i have to do is i have to take like move this bag out further from my body and open it um i mean that's something i have to get used to um and i obviously that doesn't like really deter me away from this bag this bag is so gorgeous um i highly recommend this size i also want to say special thank you to um amy joe who has also helped me with um you know with her um with her videos her recommendations um and also um her helping pro or her help through uh with my process of purchasing this bag because um yeah i was very very um you know 
very excited about this bag and she was able to help me so um thank you so much amy and um i also thank you uh sam snape hpp for your videos and for your help as well um your video really did um you know help me decide and basically ha have my mind ready for this bag so thank you again and um please uh guys if you could follow me on instagram Catherine is a cat there you can see more of this beautiful handbag i will be doing more video uh, more shots more photos of this bag and what i can fit in it and whatnot and also please subscribe to this channel um please let me know um, if after a few days or so you want me to do a review, a, um, a first impressions video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great and fantastic day. Bye bye.